So, welcome to Extra Innings. It's kind of a new thing. We're going to start here, see if it works. You know that passage that I was uh, referring to yesterday in my message out of Ephesians chapter 4, verses uh, 11 to 16? Um, <clears throat> You know, I read that and read it and read it again and again through the years, and every time I look at it now, I, I see this, uh, this great motivational speech that the Apostle Paul is giving to the church in Ephesus to get them fired up to uh, spend time developing their spiritual muscles, their faith muscles in advance before life comes and hits them in the face. That's how it is. That's what we need to do with our lives. Um, you know, I threw in that um, motivational video yesterday, and, and uh, I thought it was kind of cool. Uh, when I was in high school, uh, my football coach, my offensive line coach, used to think that he could motivate me by doing, uh, by saying certain things to me or whatever. And one of the things he loved to do is that when they had a chalkboard, you know, we'd be in a meeting and they would draw, uh, you know, up on the chalkboard, the, the football team with X's and O's. Uh, he would always put me, while well, the guy that was right next to me on the line was like super small, like unusually small. And so when he drew my friend, uh, he, he, he would draw this little tiny circle, just this little pea-sized circle up on the board and then he would draw my circle, and he would draw this huge beach ball size circle on the board. Everybody else was the normal size. Uh, he would draw me huge. And it, it wasn't like I was th this uh, extra large person. I, you, know, I, uh, you know, I weighed less than I do now. And, and um, he would put that up there, thinking that it would motivate me. Uh, it, it really didn't do very good at all. He didn't know me well enough, uh, but it was pretty funny and everybody laughed at me every day. So fast forward to later in my life after I've gotten married and so forth, uh, one of the things that I realized is that I, I loved to listen to music. I still do while I work out. When I go to the gym, I, uh, I put my headphones in and I crank it and it is loud and Wanda looks at me and goes, do you really need to listen to stuff that loud? And it's like, yeah, it, it, it moves me. It, uh, I, I, it, I, really, I, I really like that. That's to work out. Now, I, I'll tell you the truth. I have some things in my life, some uh, secrets or however you want to say it, that motivate me to study God's Word, that motivate me to reach out to other people, things that that are necessary. It's a part of my routine um, to do what I need to do, especially to dig in and keep studying the Bible and keep growing deeper, even at this point in my life. And so I've got a question to ask you today, and you ponder this uh, the rest of the week. Uh, what what motivates you? What do you need uh, in your life to get you up, to get you moving, to get you opening the Bible, to get you on your knees to pray? What is it going to take to do that for you? And how hard are you going to work to find it? Because without it, uh, spiritual muscles go into atrophy, and you don't ever want that to happen.